I always say that the difference between a cyberbully and a cyberbullying victim is often only the last one who clicked the mouse. Often by responding, you become a cyberbully yourself. The more you learn to respect others, the more likely it is they will respect you. These tips will help you avoid becoming a victim or even a cyberbully. Stop, block, and tell. That means don't reply to any cyberbullying message. Don't do anything that's going to perhaps make it worse or something that's going to get you into trouble. Block the person who's sending it to you. They may change their screen name, but if they do, you know that you have a serious cyberbullying attack. And tell a trusted adult, your older brother or sister, teacher, parents, someone you trust. You can even come to us at wiredsafety.org for help. And you can go to stopcyberbullying.org to find out what you can do. Think before you click. Look at what you're sending before you send it. Did you include everything you wanted to say? Did you send it? to the right person. Should you put in a smiley or a JK so that people know that you're just kidding around? Don't do anything that could be misunderstood. Read it and read it again before you send it. Think about how the person who receives it is going to feel. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, respecting others, using good manners online, what we call netiquette, and respecting the feelings and the time online of others. We call that bandwidth. Don't waste other people's time. Think about what you're sending before you send it. Make sure that you're not hurting their feelings. Being careful and courteous. Keep your personal information private. The more personal information that someone has about you, the more easily they can cyberbully you. Most cyberbullying actually happens from someone who was your close friend, sometimes even your best friend. When you get into a fight, they know your secrets and your password. Google yourself. Make sure that you do frequent searches of your name, address, screen name, cell phone numbers, telephone numbers, and anything else that stands for you online. You can even set an alert at Google or Yahoo that will have the search engines look for this personal information about you and send you an email when they find it. Take five. Drop that mouse and walk away from the computer so no one will get hurt. We do that law and order style. We may goof around with it a little bit, but it's very true that if you're upset, the last thing in the world you should be doing is sitting online and communicating with others. It's far more likely when you're upset, hurt, or scared that you're going to do something you will later regret. So go do something you enjoy doing. Shooting hoops, kicking a soccer ball around, or playing hockey. There are lots of different things that you can do from painting and reading a book and just talking to your friends. Recognize that the more time you spend calming down and finding your center, the better you're going to be able to handle whatever's happening to you. All these tips taken together will help you find ways to protect yourself from cyber bullies and avoid becoming one yourself. Thanks. For more information, visit StopCyberBullying.org, TeenAngels.org or wiredsafety.org. Have some fun and be safe.